Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesaya the Christ. Let's do a big pardon. Yesaya the Messiah, Yesaya of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God the higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesaya. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel. Yeshahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yeshahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth. All over in the diaspora, I greet all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet all in his glorious name, Yeshah the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember, my name is Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Glory be to the most High. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I really appreciate it. And thank you for those of you beautiful beloveds of the most uh, higher who have blessed me through paypal thank you so much for your love offering towards me um it's been a great help on a daily basis so i really 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 appreciate it and for those brothers and sisters as well who has blessed me on this platform by hitting the thanks button again i thank you so very much may ahaya bless you and your beautiful household of faith all right okay we are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Messiah the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, please understand that Satan through the Antichrist will change, seek to change times, laws and seasons, and it will be given to him in his hands. So lawlessness is coming. That's why Yesai says, pray to what? Pray to be what? Found worthy to escape these wicked things coming upon the earth. Because brothers and sisters, I am telling you, lawlessness is coming. And when this lawlessness period is happening, Holy Spirit is not going to be here. Yesiah the Christ is not going to be here. Ahiah the Father is not going to be here. And I'm telling you, Yesiah says what? Pray to be found worthy to escape these things coming up on the earth. Because brothers and sisters, it's not going to be pretty. And I believe that the escape Yesiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. Many, many people say that Jesus is coming any day, any minute. No, not true. Second Exodus first, the woman in Revelation 12 with the 12 stars on her head. The 12 stars represent the 12 sons of Jacob, the seed of Jacob that went through the 1916, not 1916, I take that back. The 1619, put it turn around, the 1619 transatlantic slavery or whenever it began around about that time. Hurt, harm, and scattered to the four corners of the earth. The most that is going to regather is people. I know some of you believe in the 1948 state and say, well, God went into Europe and told the Europeans to go back to their homeland, Israel. It's not them, brothers and sisters. Wake up. Ahaya is going to regather the 12 seed of Jacob that's been hurt and harmed and scattered through the transatlantic slavery. He says he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Go and read Jeremiah chapter 30. Start by reading Jeremiah chapter 30. And you will understand what I'm talking about. So, yes, Yesaya is coming. Absolutely. I believe he's coming back in the clouds of glory. There's no if, but, or maybe. I 100% believe in that because that is the sixth seal or St. Matthew 24 verses, I think from 29 onwards where, you know, the sudden moon darkened and light and flashes from the east and coming into the west. So we know that Yesaya is returning. We're not saying that he's not returning. We believe in the returning of the Most High. Yes, he's coming back. But before he comes, before he comes, before he comes, the woman in Revelation 12 represents the second exodus. A highest people that went through the transatlantic slavery, slavery will be regathered. It is called the great worldwide second exodus. Nothing is new underneath the sun. It's just like the first exodus when the wicked pharaohs had the Hebrew Yeshahelites in slavery. And Ahaya delivered them. 
You know, I as people still in 400 years of biblical slavery, like what the Bible talks about. We're still in that 400 year period. It's almost up. Not completely. It is almost up. And so therefore, Ahai is going to regather his people. It is what it is. The second exodus is real. Don't let any witch tell you that it's not real. Because they don't have the revelation. Because their heart is not clean. So Ahai cannot reveal anything to them. But the second exodus is real. It is real. It is coming. It is coming. I've got a full playlist on the second exodus. How it's going to happen. What you to look out for. So go check out my playlist on the second exodus. It is real. All right. So after the second exodus. Then the sixth seal. That is Yesiah. Coming with his hands full of reward. In all glory and majesty. It's coming back for a church. Without spot, wrinkle or blemish. You have to be ready. All right. And. Um. So after that, yeah, second Exodus, I have a prophetic theme song called We Are, we are Near. Prophetic song from my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh 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 near hallelujah yes we are in there we can sing that song with right confidence all right i have two ministries one for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the hebrew yashahelites all right so this is the end time prophetic ministry right lockdown is coming again and i think brothers and sisters knows that we know that the first one was a test run, right? With the Devoc 19 and everybody, right? Where the Devoc was just ruling and reigning and shutting us in our home. Schools closed, hospital closed, churches closed, everybody closed because of the Devoc 19 in 2020. And they lock us down, all right? But there's a lockdown that is coming, brothers and sisters, because you've got to understand that Satan's motive is to, is to rule relentless. He doesn't want human beings to have a man of their own. Because he knows that if we have a man of our own, we'll come against his wicked, dirty scheme and his wicked, dirty plan. His wicked, dirty plans, right? So the Lord's been showing me lockdown. There's a few to come. There's a few lockdowns to come. Don't worry, there's a few. It's not only one. No, I've often I often talk on this channel about a lockdown that is coming. That is going to involve the zombies, the zom zoms. Done many videos about that one. Um, in terms of the, you know, when this thing breaks out, when the apocalypse breaks out. Um, yeah, the wicked is going to say, the wicked dirty Caesars and Pharaoh is going to tell everybody, mayday, mayday, get into your homes. They're going to send alerts out and all sorts and causing panic as usual as they do. But certainly it is a form of lockdown that is coming through the zom zom. What date is it today? But today, the 23rd of January, 2024. Ahaya reveals something in my spirit. And this lockdown could come before the zom zoms. It could come before the, zombie, the zombies. Listen to me carefully because I'm giving you prophecy. This lockdown, this incoming lockdown, could come before the actual um, test run of the zombie apocalypse that is looming over us. You might say, oh, Sister Karen, what lockdown are you talking about? What lockdown could they possibly have and all of that? All right. We saw a tiny, sorry, and it's just a int. A, a, not even a scrape on the surface you remember those that videos or those videos that's going around concerning um the aliens we call them aliens we call them fallen angel those beings those entity in the mall in is it miami florida i know you know you see police cars and everybody running up and down and one of you trying to scramble trying to see what's happening they're telling you what is to come because what they're going to do brothers and sisters <laughs> these beings are going to begin to pop up 
All right, they've done a movie called Signs. I need to watch that movie again, actually. Signs with Mel Gibson. Can't remember it because I watched it such a long time. Oh my days, it's such a long time I watched that movie. But with that movie, Signs, these fallen angels, these creatures were popping up here and there. And I think they were making signs in the, in the fields, if I'm, if I'm correct. They were making some form of signs in the field or something like that. But the, but the thing about it is that they were popping up here, there and everywhere. And brothers and sisters, these beings, because there's no filter and lawlessness is coming, they will begin to pop up. And when they begin to pop up, the wicked, dirty Caesars and Pharaohs will put fear in the hearts of man. That's why I say men heart fear them, fail, men hearts fail them for looking at these things coming up on the earth. And I believe that because of this, because it's a control thing, isn't it? It's a control thing. So because of this now, brothers and sisters, um, the wicked is going to say, get off the streets. That's why I saw in the revelation what the most I saw showed me. I saw soldiers and tanks and military forces. And this is nothing to do with the zombs. -zom. This is not the zombie I'm talking about. These are fallen angels looking like creatures, which are their creatures anyway, um, popping up everywhere. And they're going to put us back in lockdown because they're going to say, oh, it's not safe. We don't know about these beans. We don't, they do know about these beans because they've been hiding some of them in Antarctica, up there in Antarctica. They have. And they're going to come with their wicked, dirty lies and say, oh, we don't really know about these beans. We don't know where they come from. We don't know if they're friendly and we don't know if they're wicked. So it's best if you go inside and keep inside until when we, the government, tell you to come out. It's another form of lockdown. Because I know exactly these beings. Because these beings cannot come here unless the wicked human beings work with them. It's just that simple because they help to tear the veil down. So brothers and sisters, I am telling you there is going to be another lockdown through um, the sightings of fallen angels popping up everywhere. Scaring little kiddies, popping up in the school, scaring the children, popping up outside churches, popping up in your back garden. I told you about your back gardens. They love the back gardens for some reason. They love back gardens. They love, um, they love back gardens. They love shopping center. You call it the mall. And they love supermarkets. Don't know why, but they do. But they will be popping up everywhere. And they will be popping up in the schools. And when you see children begin to get, because you've got to understand that these fallen angels, you know, I know Wicked Dirty, Hello Weird, Hello Wood make a movie called E.T., your friendly alien. That is just a, a facade because these beings are not friendly. They come with a level of fear. And when you see little kiddies see these things and that fear, they're going to lock the schools. I'm telling you, this is a prophecy. I don't know if anybody else has given this prophecy because I know some of the witches on YouTube will love to come and say, oh, Sister Karen stole my prophecy. Wicked, dirty witch. It's a lie. I don't steal your prophecy. So let's see if you're going to make a video from this prophecy. All right? Because like I say, I haven't seen anybody um, or hear anybody on YouTube or anywhere coming and saying that a lockdown is going to happen because of fallen angels. So let's see if I'm stealing your prophecies. All right? But anyways, brothers and sisters, um, so I do believe that this lockdown is eminent, imminent. It's not far off. It's not far off. These creatures will begin to appear. You're going to sight them more. Because what they want to do, you've got to understand what the dirty Caesars and the dirty Pharaohs want to do. Please understand. They want to integrate. Jesus, we love you, Lord. Right? They want to integrate the fallen angels into society and tell you that this is normal, but it's not normal. Ahaya. Ahaya never lies. Ahaya cannot lie. The Lord showed me this vision, in, I need to find it, 2017, where some brothers and sisters may remember it, where um, the fallen angels came integrated into society when they integrated brothers and sisters dirty devil caesars and pharaohs 
tell everybody oh they're okay the wonderful beings they won't do anything brothers and sisters these creatures kind of creatures the cre the creatures by nature they're cannibalists cannib cannibals right and um and so they begin to turn and when they begin to turn what you think happened yeah many many children went missing many when, we, when the people begin to ask the government what's going on and they found out that the fallen angels were literally eating the kids parents went mad they had to go on psychiatric psychiatric medication because they couldn't take what was going on a higher cannot lie a higher says men heart fails them for looking at the things coming up on the on the earth you have to prepare yourself brothers and sisters you have to prepare yourself i am telling you the fallen ones are going to begin to pop up i said the word pop up because that's what this is going to literally be like you're going to be looking in your garden you're going to see stuff outside in the supermarket in the mall in the schools and they're going to put us in another lockdown because they're going to claim to say they don't know what's going on they do know 150 million percent because some of them are fallen angels up there in the pharaoh and the caesar's um environment in the governmental environment the fallen angels anyway some of them so they do know what's going on soldiers the lord showed it to me 23rd of january 2024 ahaya showed it to me soldiers seeing them in the spirit trying to mandate and trying to get these falling ones off and yeah but the thing about it is that they're doing it to scare the people there's something with the lockdown that the wicked like to do with the lockdown the lockdowns are not normal it's not normal brothers and sisters so these fallen angels are summoned by the wicked to come and to do their job and to scare the people we know that they're coming back because the bible says that obviously you know satan um fell to the earth after the fight between him and michael and there was no more place found for him for him in heaven so we know at some point he's going to draw his stars the fallen ones with him and throw them down to the earth You have to be in Christ. This, this, this is so important. You must be in the secret place of Ahaya. There's no if, buts, or maybe, brothers and sisters. You've got to find yourself in Psalms 91. You cannot leave yourself hanging out there like that. You've got to make sure and rest assured that you are protected underneath Psalms 91, you and your families. Because... I have seen fallen angels before. Two of them I've seen twice. I should say twice I've seen them. A male and a female. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost inside of you. Let me tell you something. That fear that hits you is something else. Trust me. It's not a normal fear. You have to have the power of the Holy Ghost standing inside of you. Baba says that when the enemy rushes in. Because what these fallen angels do. They rushes in. They're rushing in like a flood with the fear. When that fear hits your brothers and sisters, you're crippled. And that's what they feed off, the fear. But you've got to have the power of the Holy Spirit inside of you. The Bible says that when the enemy rushes in like a flood, then the Spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard. Those in Christ don't have any fear. Why? Because we have the Holy Spirit. Yes, you can be overwhelmed. That's different from being fearful. We're not going to be fearful. Or we're going to have the Holy Spirit with us. So these beings can turn up as much as they want. We know who we are in Christ. We are more than conquerors. Perfect love. Cast out all fears. But brothers and sisters, this is a warning prophecy. This is a warning message. Lockdown is coming because of sighting of fallen angels. I know some people call them aliens, right? But we in the body of Christ, we call them fallen angels because that's what they are. 
The wicked knows what they're doing. Everything that they're doing, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, everything that they're doing is in preparation for the Antichrist. And they know, you see, they know that the second exodus is at the door. They know. So they're going to try everything in the book to try to distract and to, you know, whatever concerning the second exodus. They're going to throw the kitchen sink at us, brothers and sisters, because they don't want us to leave Babylon. They don't want the chosen people to leave Babylon. They want us to stay over in Babylon and be destroyed. Be destroyed to the point that we forget about the Most High. The dirty devil is a liar and there's absolutely no truth in Satan. So, we're going. Second Exodus is real and we are leaving wicked, dirty Babylon. We're leaving Babylon, U.S., Babylon, U.K., Babylon, France, all these wicked, dirty Babylonian countries where they've scattered us. We're leaving by ships as well. And they know it. They absolutely, absolutely know it. Because dirty devil knows the Bible. So what the Lord revealed in my spirit is that a lockdown is coming. Not because of the zomzoms. Because that, that's going to be another lockdown as well. Mighty God, help us, Father. Distress. Yesiah talks about it. Let's find it. Yesiah says distress upon the nation it is literally distress is one thing after the next like the dirty caesars won't give us a break brothers and sisters they literally wants to destroy us yeah they literally wants to destroy us destroy destroy us literally let me just quickly tell this distress upon nations literally brothers and sisters um mighty god of creation i will try to find and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth right um and upon the earth distress of nations when something is distressed with, per, with, with perplexity, the sea and the waves rowing, men's hearts failing them for fear, and looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Listen to me. When Yesiah talks about distress upon nation, when you're in distress, what Yesiah is talking about, you're constantly in distress. There's no break. Like you cannot catch a break, a breath, a break, or, or your breath, because when one thing happened, when one destruction happened, another one is just behind it. That is called distress. You're just constantly in distress, distress upon the nation, not his people, but upon the nation. It's one thing after the next, and so with this coming lockdown of the fallen ones, brothers and sisters, popping up everywhere and there and showing up themselves, because the brave now, isn't it? The br br we're called the word brazen, right? They, they think they have all rights. And the thing when they pop up into it, they're not even, you know, they're, they're coming in their creature forms, in the entity form. You must find yourself in Psalms 91. You have to. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Something in my eye. Shall abide underneath the shadow of the Almighty. He will protect you. But you must find yourself in Him. Because when these things begin to happen, brothers and sisters, you know, if you're not right in Christ, you're going to be in trouble. You won't have any protection. Obviously, a high is still merciful. And yes, he will protect who he chooses to protect. Regardless. But at the same time, you have to make sure you keep your end of the bargain. By living holy and living righteous. Walking with the Messiah. With a pure heart. Because remember, like I say, nobody, nobody can put you into hell. And nobody can put you into heaven except Messiah the Christ.
Only him alone can do that because he's got the authority. But the prophecy is true. There's, there is going to be, there's, like I said, there's few lockdowns that's coming. There's few of them that's coming, brothers and sisters. Um, but, but, but this one that I'm talking about, it is to do with the fallen angel, a.k.a. The, the sighting of aliens popping up all over the place. Because it's going to be fearful for the unbelievers. Yes, like I say, you know, we're only human beings, but, you know, we in Christ who may be overwhelmed because it's like, oh, we've never seen this type of stuff. It's only in Hollywood movie. You know, you know, it's right in our reality. It's right there in our reality. So it's like these are paranormal stuff. You know, they, they, they're not human. They, they come with the complexity of being and making us being fearful. Or some people being fearful. And so, yes, they're going to lock, lock, tell it to stay in your homes until they deal with the threat. But they're the one who send them. This is how wicked these people are like. They're going to fool the people. Oh, we don't know where they come from. You do know where they come from. Because you summon them over to our side. Wicked, dirty Caesars. High is going to destroy the whole lot of them. I'm telling you, who's going to destroy the, these dirty devils that's running the earth? Because the evil powers of God, spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we're dealing with rulers of this dark world principalities mighty god of creation this is what the church is dealing with and we have to wise up we have to get it right in christ have to because if we don't get it right brothers and sisters then the enemy is gonna have a field day we have to get this one right in christ all right so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In your sight, holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessing